Hi everyone, my name is Connor McDonald. Follow me on Twitter for information about SQL and in particular about Ask Tom. And today's quick tip is about a string processing problem that we encountered on Ask Tom. Let's have a look. So let's start with a simple example and we'll build up to the example that we had on Ask Tom today. So first I'll run select star from T. As you can see, the data looks like numeric data. It's the numbers 1 through 14. It was fairly easy to create. Let's see what happens when I try order by. Well, suddenly we start to see that maybe this data wasn't exactly what we were after. And in fact, that the data is left justified gives you a hint. The column X is actually a string column. And so when we sort a string column, we sort it in letter semantics, not numeric semantics. And as you can see, all the strings that were prefixed with 1, 1, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, came out first, which is generally not what we want. Now we can work around that by doing order by two number. Let's convert all the strings to number. And as you can see, the result there is now correct. The problem is, let's move away from our table called T and have a look at a table called T1. When I query that, it's actually the same, except there's one extra row in there, the letters AA. After all, this is a string column. We can put whatever we want in there. So now when we attempt to use our workaround, we have a bit of a problem. When Oracle encounters the, the row AA and tries to convert it to a number, we get an error, and therefore we get no rows at all. That's a bit of a problem. But we can even work around this should we want to. What we can do is simply pad the string out such that it would be left justified with spaces. And then when we run it, we can see our result is left justified, but the ordering is now correct. It's sort of equivalent to ordering by number. If we had some more interesting data in there like decimal points and the like, then we might still have some challenges. But we can see we've actually solved most of the problem here. Let's move on to the Ask Tom question we had today. It was a follow-up from that previous discussion where they said the data was more like this. The string actually represented like a hierarchy, like chapters or subsections within a book and they wanted to sort the data walking down that hierarchy. That's a bit more complicated. You can see there that if we scroll down row number 5, 1.6 shouldn't be sitting there. Now if I try my standard LPAD trick, I actually don't really gain a great deal. You can see row 8, 1.6 still is coming before row 9, 1.1. The problem here is that we need to take each individual component inside the decimal points and expand them out and then treat them as numerics. So how do we do that? Well, certainly trying by number is not going to work because there's multiple decimal points in there. What we need to do is find where all the decimal points are. So here's our first query using in-string to find the first, second and third accounts of a decimal point. And you can see for some strings there are no decimal points at all. For other ones there are plenty. The person on Ask Tom said there will be no more than four digits and hence three decimal points. And so we can work on that basis. Once we've got that, we can start trying to extract the strings. So here's my first one. If I have a decimal point, then the first column is all the strings up to the decimal point. Otherwise, it's the entire column. So we run that. And we can see we've extracted the first column of one out of our string. Moving down, I can see here, if I have a second decimal point, then column two will be all the strings between the first decimal point and the second decimal point. Otherwise, it will be the entirety of the remainder of the string. For example, if you look at row 2, it's just 1.1. .1. So if I run that, and you can see I've started to extract the second column out of my figures. Taking that to its logical conclusion, I've got all the figures here now. If I run that, you can see I've taken my string, and in the result, I've actually passed it out into the individual column values. Now we have a much better chance. Now we can simply wrap that inline view and use our conventional order by LPAD to extract the data. When I run that, you can see the result has come out in a nice ordered list, even though the string itself is actually just a concatenation of digits and periods. So there you have it. Nice and easy, a way of segmenting out data by parsing it to order it in the desired fashion.